So what do we often end up doing when we decide we want to get into better shape? A lot of times, we just start to work out. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. We might just grab a workout program off the internet or do one that our buddy suggested. But there are some things we can do before we start a program that will help us achieve greater success and improve our odds of reaching our goal. And that brings us to the first point, having a clear goal in mind. And this is where a lot of people make a mistake. They know where they want to be, but they don't really know where they are right now. And if you're lost, it is really hard to get to your destination. So we need to establish where we are now. And before we do this fitness-wise, we need to know where we're at health-wise. So if you're over 45 or you have a chronic health condition, then you should really consult with your doctor first to get the all clear to exercise. Once we've accomplished this step, there are still things we can do to firmly establish where we're at now. And this is something, looking back, I wish I had done. One of those things is take progress pictures. Those starting point pictures will remind you how far you have come and help you to firm up your resolve to continue moving forward. You should take one from every side. Pictures also show improvements that can't be tracked with a scale or a measuring tape. Now most of us weigh ourselves regularly. And while this is an important metric to track, it can be misleading and have negative impacts on our motivation, which is why it's good to include full body measurements as well. For those of us who are trying to lose body fat while adding muscle mass to our frame, these measurements can be the best guide to show us that what we are doing is working. When it comes to our cardiovascular fitness, finding our resting heart rate and recovery time, which can be found through a test like a step up test, gives us an excellent baseline to match future progress with. Now you should have a pretty good idea where you're at and you have a goal so you know ultimately where you want to be. Now you just need a map so you can get there. This is where schedule comes in. You have that program you got off the internet but that's only part of the map. Now you have to make it work with your schedule. Scheduling a fixed time to go to sleep at night and when you wake up doesn't only help you know when you can train but it also provides you with the needed time to recover as most of your recovery will happen at night while you sleep. Scheduling may not be the funnest part of fitness, but if you don't take the time to do it, it may be the mistake that leads you off the path and before you know it, once again you find yourself lost. Another important area to have scheduled is your food. Not just when and how much you're going to eat, but you also need to set aside time for food prep and pre-planning your food means making a shopping list so you have everything you need when you need it. There are a couple other things we know are going to happen. One, we are going to get busy. And two, at some point in time, we are going to lose motivation. Knowing this, we can be prepared by taking a look at how our workouts are structured so we can decide the best way to abbreviate them when we are short on time. Or because we have our week so well scheduled, we know where we can move it so we can still make our workout happen. Now motivation is one of those things we think we need 24-7 in order to have fitness success. But this isn't the case at all. Are you always motivated to go to work? Of course not, but you still go because it's important. The same is true of your health and fitness. It is important. So to establish that habit, it is necessary for you to go. And just like some days, you might not give your best at work. You might not always give your best at the gym. But to keep that habit strong, you go. And that makes it a victory. And there's no greater victory than if you keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.